Hello everybody, Owen Ozuris here, and today we are looking at Tome 4, and we are going to do the Arena Mode. Now, I was actually going to broadcast an episode like this last time, on the Wednesday episode of Dine and Roguelikes, but I recorded a whole episode and my microphone wasn't turned on. Now, some people are asking, why wasn't your microphone turned on? This happens to you about once a month. It's because that the headset I use, because I use a headset to record this, and sometimes I unplug it to use the regular speakers on my computer, and then when I plug it back in, I'll make sure it says that the headset is recording, but then for some reason sometimes it just doesn't record, even though it said it was, or I turned the volume up. Anyway, so I did a real quick Castlevania episode last time of the arena mode in that, we're going to look at the arena mode in this. I'm going to use the same character as I used. I posted the footage of my character when I didn't have the microphone working. So we'll kind of look at about the same character, except this time I'm going to give him a little more magic resistance. Because, as I had mentioned, when I didn't have a microphone, one of the nice things about arena modes in these games, or actually alternative play modes in these games, it gives you a chance to test other builds, and it allows you to play the game quicker and level up quicker and see, not necessarily in-level content quicker, but just get a general idea of the character. That's why Castlevania's arena mode is a little different than this arena mode, where Castlevania's is real quick and you can only play one character type. This lets you play all the different characters and see, you know, really what works best for you and maybe find a build, and maybe not spend a few hours and later on figure out, hey, you know, this build would be better if I did this. So we're going to have Owen Azuris here. And a lot of roguelike games, this week was really just me looking at, or talking about the different quick modes a lot of roguelikes have. You might have seen my weekly challenges on my channel. I like to do those because it allows you to quickly play the game So let's see, we're going to play Dwarf Berserker, Arena, we're going to be normal and roguelike. So last time I made it to one of the first bosses in the arena. Hopefully this time we'll do the same. I already have a character of this name. I had that same problem last time. It'll be Onagerous Arena. Because I actually have a character I've been playing, and I need to get back on Twitch and play some more with him. I just upgraded my internet, so... I should be able to stream a lot more on Twitch. That's why I've been kind of silent this week. I already a character of this name. Actually, yes, I do want to override it. Here I am in the arena. We're going to go ahead and increase these stats. These are what I was focusing on last time. My strength, my dexterity, and my constitution. But I am also this time going to, every now and then, put a point into these others, so I gain some magic. And do my... Uh, no points left. And we want rush so I can close the ca gap real quick. Okay, welcome, Owen Azure's Arena. As you walk forward, you hear the increasingly loud cheers coming from outside. As you step into the arena, the scorching sun blinds your eyes temporarily. You look up and meet your target eye to eye. The master of the arena, carefully examining newcomer. He smirks and starts to look at the other fighters with interest. Whoever defeats the master of the arena will achieve utmost glory. Determined to win, you draw your weapons and advance defiantly. The public roars in anticipation. So last time I made it to wave 15, a score of 6,235. And I was a rat stomper because there were lots of rats. So let's do 60 waves, see how far we can make it. Before you start the arena mode, you have a hundred gold. So let us find a really good weapon to buy. One power. So I like this. Let's go ahead and buy that. And I can also probably get some armor here. So I can find any good armor. I got our 64 gold. Well, I am Iron Helm. Go ahead 
let him buy that. I got 48 gold left. Oh, I didn't realize I had so much. So I got a hat. Ooh, that would have been nice. Buy a cape. Okay. Now, if you look here, you'll see I have six turns to put all this on. go. Uh oh, yep, this time. And we... Last time I was having luck getting kind of trapped in one of these corners here. Got my war shout, which confuses enemies. And start healing. So that's wave one done. Hit point, strength, and let's do okay, which one does my spells, I forget. That was it. Okay, do my fertility is does stuff if my life falls below. Oh, I gained two levels. Alright. My heavy armor training, because hopefully some enemies are gonna drop some heavy armor. Let's continue. Most people. Was this a special? No. Oh, he's trying to get away from me. Alright, I don't need that. But I do need this spike iron plate armor of cold resistance. That is going to be very useful. Lightning Bolt. A uh, 25% chance for Lightning Arc. Uh, I need Talent Heavy Armor Training Level 3. I should get that next level. I don't need that shield because... I'm using two-handed weapons. Okay. Okay. It's like, why is there nothing else here? So that was the end of the round. Another level up. So, I can't do heavy armor training yet. I need more strength. Precise strikes. Let's go ahead and do that. Weapons mastery. Swords, that's what I need. Mean. Okay. So I need to gain one more level. Mighty girdle. Nice. Start healing up. I'll be ready for the next wave. Two more turns. Here we go. Okay, then these enemies are going to start illuminating and blinding me and all this junk. And these guys are going to try to run from me. Can't do anything to me. Okay, round clear. Well, we still got this homeless guy up here. So I need 
need heavy armor. I don't have any generic points left. Come on. Okay. Regenerate life faster. That will prove useful here. Next time I get a generic skill, I can equip a lot of this armor. way of saying a thief. Giant crystal rat. Okay, this is going a lot better than my... And you can see right here it says Owen oh, Azure Serena, the rat stomper versus skeletal rats. So yeah, I was fighting some skeletal rats. I got a generic point, so good. Now I can equip that armor. Stat points. So this time, I'm going to put a point into each of these. I'm trying to get my magic up a little. Because last time, if you watch that other video, my bonus arena footage, you will see the first boss I come across, I got some issues. He pretty much flat out kills me in a couple of hits. Is due a lot to my very poor magic resistance. It's a wave six here. I love this thing that casts lightning bolt for me. Oh, is that a warg? Yeah. Uh oh, I'm in ice. Good. Okay, level up again. I don't really use these, but let's go ahead just in case. And listen to this cool music while I wait for my turns to count down. And realize that by listening to this cool music, I can't monetize this video. Not that I can monetize videos anyways right now. My channel doesn't have 10,000 hits. So not that big a deal. Plus, I'm really not doing this for the money. If I was, I would probably be... I don't know, streaming like... I don't know, what do people like to watch on YouTube stream? Call of Duty or something, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so what happened? I thought I picked up something. 
Bill Drinker. I need 30 dexterity. It's a dagger. It's pretty cool. It doesn't help me here, unfortunately. Okay, I need to kill this crystal because it's spending my turns. Okay, so that was on the wave 8 here. Bunnies and rats. My rank is now a bear beater. To make my characters in other games that die to bears quite happy. Take care of these bears. It is level 10. I got that achievement. I got it last time I played too. Some stone skin. got a mini boss coming. Mini boss round starts. Okay, I need to take these guys out. Resistances. Oh, more cry. Yes. So this is my top score. Okay. Game's 
Ford's giving me some turns here. Now I'm a rank aspirant. Oh, the, did that guy just run away? Well, that was an easy round. I think some characters ran away. And I would too. I'm level 12. Guys, come on. Be a man. Or a creature, or a woman, or whatever you are. You represent. You gotta get to 36 to get that, okay. So war cry and another generic point. Yeah, okay. Stuff at me. Oh, okay. I think that's cute. Let's rush him. And this guy does not want to fight me. Okay, a boss. Now, last time it was a skeletal dragon thingy that literally destroyed me. Oh, this is going to be a same boss. Okay, let's take this stuff out. Boss fight. Okay, it's the same thing. Have a chew. that boss. After taking several hits, the undead giant finally succumbs to your attack. Suddenly, Lionel's body starts to regenerate. Standing tall again, you can feel almost, or you can almost feel this emotionless skull staring at you with satisfaction. Hey, hey, well done, dwarf. Ryle quietly turns towards the gates and leaves, seemingly unharmed. It's fun, bone giant. Sure. Okay. Anything I really need here? That Mason Paradox is pretty cool. Paradox. I'm going to lose my lightning, but it's kind of a small price to pay. This should work out for me. So I need to level up. Second win. Take a deep breath. Recover 42 stamina. That's all I need to see there. Yes. Okay, this is farther than I've ever been in this mode. Anaconda. Take out one. Oh, shoot. They froze me. 
It's kind of annoying. I've been playing Overwatch recently. Oh, shoot. So I don't really like being frozen by things. What am I? Am I poisoned? No. Okay. I just have really low health. What is doing so much damage to me? 45, start healing, and that's that for me. I beat the boss. But I was combusted to death by that orc archer. So that was arena mode. Hopefully you got something out of the video. It is a cool mode. A lot of roguelikes, as I've said, that are really long. More and more of them, if you're going to make a long roguelike, they put additional modes in these games in order to go and allow you to test character builds or just play the game real quick without having to sit down and commit to hours and hours upon playing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you have a roguelike you would like me to feature, because next week I'm going to be playing another roguelike, and I'll probably be doing my normal where I play the same roguelike both Wednesday and Saturday. So if you have one you want me to look at, feel free to send me a message. I already think I have an idea of what I'm going to play, but I am always open to suggestions. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those on the video. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.